And finally in sport, it's known as the Indigenous Football Week. The project focuses on inclusion and a shared Australian future through the world game. And with the Matildas preparing for a series of international friendlies, it's the perfect platform for a couple of young hopefuls to meet their heroes. Watching and learning from the best in Australia, the Matildas. These girls from the Northern Territory are on football scholarships with the John Moriarty Foundation. As they look on, a surprise offer. Well, one of you is both years. That's fine. Well, so come both. Come, we can do some passing. A chance to train with Matilda's veteran keeper, Lydia Williams. Now, remember, she's not our friend. She's a goalkeeper and we don't like him. Shay Evans has already played with the young Matildas, but she's never had an opportunity like this to observe such professionalism, connecting with an Indigenous role model. We're in this John Moriarty football program because it provides everything for us, like Indigenous football, um, helping everyone back in the community with football, and even everyone coming down to the scholarship, like um, giving us great opportunities. Our remotest communities across Australia are raising some of our brightest and most talented sports stars. This year, the John Moriarty Foundation has launched a digital campaign for Indigenous Football Week. It's about empowerment and challenging the game to promote respect for Indigenous culture and to show that football can play a role in reconciliation and bringing communities together. The holistic approach that they've taken has just been so great for them and for the kids and for their relatives up there in the bush. Even their um, mothers are saying, oh, you're doing very, very well, you know. Uh, it's good for our kids to be there and that's what's inspiring the others to follow them as well. And with Australia in the running to host the 2023 Women's World Cup, there's hope the pathway to success might be clearer for young hopefuls like these.